Before the blank slate, I kind of didn't really have like, there was, there was nothing to do around here. Like I went to the roll arena and stuff like that, but it's, I guess like the people that I was hanging out with weren't the best kind of people. And here it's like everyone here is kind of like, they're open, I guess, to everyone. And they're very inclusive instead of being like judgmental and stuff like that. So I guess it's just good to have a place where like, teens can actually go because there's not really anywhere else around here for that like there's place for littler kids I guess but there's nothing really once you hit like 14 you're trying to just you don't have anything to do so not to sound over dramatic but like I mean I, I posted on Facebook like we have like roughly 2,000 followers and literally if every single person donated a buck like we could completely change this town like no problem. It would be so, it'd still be a lot of work, but you know, the, the stress financially wouldn't be there anymore. So I, th I think overall, all ages, art spaces are important in every city, city in the country, you know? Um, just in terms of like, kids who might not have access to, not even like finding their own voice, but being able to witness and experience other types of culture, not everyone has access to that, especially in a small town like this. People that don't have a lot of things to do that can come out to Blink Slate and have fun and listen to music and meet a lot of great people. Everybody's genuine, everybody's like cool. There's a lot of like dicks in the music scene, especially in hip hop, like you go out to Cleveland and like they're like, oh yeah, you gotta sell tickets and this, that and the other and you're only gonna get a dollar off the ticket. Like here we just ask that you come through share the page, do your best to like promote yourself for yourself and have a good draw and just enjoy yourself and have a good time. And it's a safe space, like you don't gotta deal with no nonsense. There are a lot of um, like other artistic ventures out and about, but nothing quite like um, an alternative space like this. You know, if we could even get a, kind of a more steady, steady base, we could really do a lot more for the community, first of all. Uh, just with outreach events and working with better, better organizations and running out bigger space for certain events, things of that nature. But at the same time, like even just the day-to-day -day operations, literally every bit counts. I mean, before this, you saw us like trying to kind of like jimmy rig our like PA system together with like donated items that kind of like half work and kind of half don't, you know. And um, we're all twenty-somethings with. Uh, you know, jobs, but you know, have bills to pay ourselves and none of us see any money off of this. When I found out this place was starting, I said, you know what, I, I wanna be involved. I wanna see something cool grow here. And I came in and I realized there were a lot of things that needed done that nobody here necessarily had experience with. And it was a small group at the time too. Um, and once I started getting involved and coming in and doing things, honestly seeing the effects of my efforts, it really drove me to do more, become more involved. With a Patreon donation, like literally even five dollars will pay for a light bulb that goes out, or a new mic cable, or even just toilet paper, because there's so many little costs that you don't think about. But if enough people donated five dollars, you know, we could have an actual like competitive sound system, and we could, um, provide more, more uh, you know, refreshments for people, and we can start an actual distro. That's something we really wanna do. And not just music, like not just records, but we wanna be able to buy like local zines. Cleveland has a huge zine community. And like we try and buy what we can, but then we sell it for what we bought it for. And like we're helping a, a local illustrator, but like, you know, it doesn't help us keep our lights on at all. Um, we'd like to have you know, local clothing companies kind of have their stuff on the wall. We need better lighting. We need the floor repaired. Um, we are still living off of 40% of donations for each show. And that's only if a show makes $40 or over. Otherwise, it all just goes to the bands. And you know, we book a lot of events, but it's hard competing with Cleveland's, you know, 12 to 15 venues all having shows a night and Akron, even though it's an hour away, has such a huge music scene. Uh, but it's needed this far west too. There's not even a sense of like town identity really, other than like 
you know, the buildings are boarded up and nobody has jobs, like. So I feel like just showing kids uh, that there are people like them all across the country, uh, hopping in, you know, mom's minivan or, you know, saving money from all their minimum wage jobs or whatever and touring the country and kind of expressing their own truth and their own frustrations and, you know, their own like kind of loves is like, I think it's super important just for development. Like everything that I know about politics, about business, about um, my sense of self, about personal interaction, like it all comes from basement shows basically. Thanks for uh, giving us your time. If you want to be a part of building a, a bigger DIY scene in Illyria, uh, feel free to donate to our Patreon at patreon.com backslash Blink Slate Illyria.